Stormbeards are one of the most fun and roster-defining units in Kataf's excellent Norse Dwarf mod. You can find the link to the mod's Steam Workshop page in the description of this video. Go ahead and subscribe. Do it. It's a good, it's a good mod. Play it. Play it. Support the modding community. Do it. The Stormbeards are a very aggressive shock infantry that show the Northern Dwarf Holds far more aggressive mentality, as well as their experimentation with runic magic. You can barely make it out in the armor here, but there it is. What sets the Stormbeards apart statistically from your standard Dwarf is their increased speed, melee attack, and massively improved charge bonus, as well as having the Ogre Charge ability, which means that their charge bonus is only reduced by half when charging a unit with expert charge defense from the front, and they also have Vanguard Deploy. The enhanced charge bonuses on the Stormbeards really show through in their ability to just absolutely annihilate lightly armored infantry like, say, Norskin Marauders. Observe. Look at that little guy charging off on his own. How brave. And... There we go! A quarter of the Norskin Marauders' health just on the immediate charge. That's pretty good for a unit of Dwarf Infantry for charge bonus. Even against Chaos Warriors, the Stormbeards can trade pretty well despite their lack of armor piercing. Not an optimal matchup, but you don't always get those. At 850 gold and about 200 upkeep in campaign, they're cheaper than most of the elites you would see in the mainline Dwarf roster, but you still probably don't want to be too generous with them in the early to mid campaign or in multiplayer battles. One example of a strategy to use when you have a limited quantity of Stormbeards is to get a front line of something cheaper, in this case Dwarf Warriors, and go with good old-fashioned Hammer and Anvil. Stormbeards aren't particularly fast, but they pack plenty of damage on the charge, which makes them good for hitting opponents in the flanks. And since Dwarf Warriors make for such a extremely tough and slow-to-kill Anvil, it means you are afforded more time with the Stormbeards to get into the proper hammering position. Can be kind of slow uh, to play, though. Hmm. Satisfying, though. Drain them. Yes. Drain them. Now, Hammer and Anvil is a classic, but it's been done before, hasn't it? You can do that with just about anybody. What about ambushing someone with heavily armored dwarfs? Since Stormbeards have Vanguard Deploy, and they can deploy in the center or on the fringes of the map, that means there's all kinds of spots you can place them to go ahead and ambush enemies from the forests, from behind hills, so on and so forth. And perhaps I could have been a bit better with the timing with this, but nonetheless, they'll get in there and they'll flank, damn it. There we go. Nice. Of course, you can simply disregard all subtlety and just Vanguard to play right in front of the enemy. You know, it's actually not working out as badly as I thought it would. Huh. They'd probably do better with support from other Vanguard Deploy units, however. And when it comes to Vanguard Deployed units, the Norse Dwarfs are very much spoiled for choice. They've got melee units, missile units, cavalry, stuff that's solid in melee, stuff that's more beneficial at range. Just all around a very aggressive, in-your-face roster of units that can really help the Stormbeards to just get rid of all subtlety and go straight for the jugular. And the Stormbeards are just one unit in a whole roster of very fun, Norse dwarfy kind of units. If you've been playing dwarfs in Total War Warhammer before, and you felt they just weren't as aggressive as you wanted, then in many ways this is the mod for you. They've got a difficult but rewarding, very fun campaign up in Norska, where they are at once both similar to the mainline dwarf campaign, but also different in some vital ways. They've got some different buildings in the building tree. They have an entirely different tech tree. Just a very fun little experience. So if you got a copy of Total War Warmer 3 and you got Immortal Empires, then I strongly encourage you to try the mod. It is a lot of fun. And again, the link to the workshop page is in the description. I hope you enjoyed this little highlight. If you guys want to see more, then 
That's great. If you don't want to see any more, tough shit because I'm going to do more of these. I love Total War mods and I want to do more content for them. So expect to see more of these in the future. And folks, I will see you later.